in a move to overshadow the negative press. Gates invested $100 million to set up the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Overnight, Bill Gates transformed his public image from ruthless tech monopolizer to the world's most generous philanthropist. I'm pleased to announce that we're pledging an additional billion dollars uh, to... We had the chance to witness Bill Gates 2.0, the man you don't know. The rebranding campaign paid off. His net worth swiftly doubled, earning Bill Gates the title of richest man in the world. You've invested $10 billion in vaccinations over the last two decades, and you figured out the return on investment for that. And it kind of stunned me. Can you walk us through the math? In a Wall Street essay, Bill Gates declared vaccines the best investment I've ever made. Well, there's been over a 20 to 1 return. So if you just look at the economic benefits, uh, that's a pretty strong number compared to anything else. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has made millions of dollars each year from companies blamed for many of the same social and health problems the foundation seeks to address. The Gates Foundation has investments in 69 of the worst polluting companies in the U.S. and Canada. Other companies in the foundation's portfolio have been accused of transgressions, including forcing thousands of people to lose their homes, supporting child labor, defrauding and neglecting patients in need of medical care. The Gates Foundation... <laughs> William H. Gates III and Melinda French Gates. As a top donor to both the WHO and the CDC, no one man has more power than Bill Gates to influence and control the health and medical freedom of all people. Normalcy only returns when we've largely vaccinated the entire global population. This will be the new normal until a vaccine is developed. Until we find a vaccine, going back to normal, means putting lives at risk. We need to produce it and to deploy it in every single corner of the world. Full vaccination of our children and pregnant women. Development of new vaccines, therapeutics vaccines and diagnostics. And for effective vaccines and therapeutics are developed. At the end of the year, we're going to be able to give it to a lot of people very, very rapidly.